Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be looking at the A9 or 365 IP camera. So we're going to set up the camera, get it working, and then I will show you how to access the camera remotely from any location. I'm just going to put the box here away from us. If you are familiar with these cameras, you already know um, how to get them working probably, but I do have an unboxing video and setup video for them as well that you can check. I will leave a link in the description for you to have a look into that. We're going to go through the setup here and I'll show you how to access these cameras remotely. So I've got two of the cameras here so one here is charging with my uh, power bank and the other one is connected to another power source I've also got my mobile phone here which I'm using for, with the power bank as well so before we go on with the video if you do enjoy our videos please do hit that like button and please do subscribe to our channel so I'm just gonna open my phone here actually there is a glare here because of the light so I'm just gonna turn off the light for now and okay yep, yeah, that's a lot better there so um, the first thing we want to do here is search for the application on Google Play so if you are used to these cameras you will know that the application is called F FTY cam. So if I search on Google Play here for FTY cam, what I will get here is FTY cam pro. Just a note that FTY cam pro doesn't actually work with these cameras. So if I search here um, on Google Play, I will actually not find the FTY cam app. So what I need to do is search on Google for FTY -ty cam app. And here you will see that I've got two results, FTY Cam Pro and FTY Cam. So I want to select FTY Cam, tap on install, and this will install the application for you to get started. Okay, so the application is now installed. I'm going to open it. As I open the application, I need to agree um, to the terms and conditions and then sign in. So I'm going to select Google sign in here. And then I have to select a country. In this case, uh, I'm going to select Britain then tap on okay there and now it's going to ask for a google account so i've selected one to start off with and here we've got the main menu so in the main menu we've got the option here to add add a device i've got two devices so i'm going to add both of them so i'm going to tap here on add device and then it asks me for location i don't know why the application wants me to enable location but i'm guessing it needs to identify the cameras so i'm going to select here to allow and then it wants to connect to Bluetooth to determine the relative position to nearby devices. I'm going to allow it as well. So I'm assuming here it requires Bluetooth to be able to connect. So I've got a device here. I'm going to power it on and go into parry mode. So it is now powering and you can see there it's blinking a blue and I've got the device here. I'm going to tap here to add. So it now asks for my Wi-Fi password. Now this is an important step because this Wi-Fi password will be stored on the camera itself so you can access the camera remotely. So I'm going to enter here the password. Okay, so I've entered the password for my Wi-Fi. I'm going to connect. It asks to confirm if I want to connect. Yes, I want to connect. So it's now connecting and it's blinking blue there. Okay, so now it is connected. I need to give the device a name. I'm gonna call this device room one. Okay, so it's now connected and I can see the camera here. So I'm gonna add the second device as well. So I'm gonna tap there. Okay, and I'm gonna get the device here and go into pairing mode. So to go into pairing mode, I just long press the mode button right here until it starts blinking blue. Okay, it's blinking blue now. It should appear here now, shortly. There you go, so the camera is here. I'm gonna click here on add. So I've got my details for my network. Click on okay. It's connecting to the device. Okay, so it's connected. So I'm going to call this one room two, tap on okay. And both cameras are now connected. So, so one of the things here is sometimes you, it won't actually let you see the camera straight away or it won't connect straight away. 
you might have to turn off the camera and then back on. So let's see what happens now. So if I tap one of the cameras here, it asks me to allow to record audio. The audio, so as you know, the application needs to be able to record audio from the camera. However, I'm not entirely sure what else does it record. So you will make the decision whether to install the application and if you want to allow. So it's not connecting. Okay, so it's connected first time. So this is this device here. So the first device that I connected. So that's amazing. It's working. And then we've got the second device here. So it is also connected. So I didn't have to restart. But do bear in mind that uh, sometimes you do have to restart uh, these cameras. Uh, so basically turn it off and then turn it back on so you can access them. But yeah, it is working. Let's have a look here at some of the other things. So if I tap here on the second camera again, so I've got the option here for voice. So if I want to listen to the camera, it is working. I've got the option here for albums, got no data, video. If I want to record video and I tap there on record, what it will do is it will record a video on my mobile phone. If you do have an SD card on the camera, it will record the data onto the SD card. So I'm just going to stop there. You can take a photo, you can flip the screen, and then you've got uh, a more option there. It's got night vision mode, guard mode, and SD card mode. So it shows you the battery, the speeds, and here it shows you or gives you the option as well to select uh, the quality if you want full HD, um, HD, 1080p, etc. So I haven't removed active film, so the quality doesn't actually show um, quite well there. Okay, so let's go now to access these cameras remotely. How do I actually access the cameras remotely? Very, very simple as well. For this demo, I am going to just uh, close the application completely. Actually, I'm going to close everything and I'm going to turn off Wi-Fi. You will see here that my Wi-Fi is turned off. So the data is through my mobile phone. Um, as you can see here, and I've got no Wi-Fi connectivity. So it's a different IP address. I'm connecting through a mobile phone onto the camera, which is connected to my home Wi-Fi network. So if I now go over to open the application, the application opens and I will have both of the cameras here. It shows both of them as on. And if I tap on the camera, this is now connecting remotely over the internet to my mobile phone. I'm not even connected to my mobile, to my home network at the moment. And this is how you connect your, um, your cameras. So you do need to have your SSID and your passwords. Um, so, so when you set up the camera for the first time, you enter those details and they are stored on the camera and you can access the camera remotely from anywhere in the world okay and and this is it and this is how you set this up it does work although you may not feel that the quality is up to the standard nowadays um uh, but it does work and uh, it is a camera of course that i wouldn't recommend for for professional use um you know if you if you really want to have this running 24 7 you need to have it connected to a power source because the battery doesn't last that long um, maximum i've been able to test on one of these is just about 20 minutes and even though even then the quality might not be um what you would expect it to be um it is a small you know camera and it can be used anywhere really um it does come with a magnet um support uh, the camera itself here it doesn't have a magnet but you can uh, install one of those stickers if you want but like i said you know you will need a power source for this you can't rely on the camera to be connected for a very long um, time and, and then getting results out of it. Um, so it, 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 like I mentioned, you know, um, it, it, it does work. So this is it for this video. So hopefully I've been able to help you and now you can access your camera remotely. If you have any questions, please do post them on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Take care and I will see you in the next video.